Hello, everyone. Welcome back to another episode of Clickbait. Uh, can't wait to get into everything. We got the Bachelor Nation breakdown. We're going to break down the finale. Um, Tia is going on maternity leave. We'll talk about that. And then our very special guest, this man is involved in the most drama that I've seen in a while. Johnny is here. We're going to ask him all the burning questions. We can't wait to talk to him. Um, but before we do, hello. How's everyone doing? Hello. Hello. Hi, hi. hi. Natasha, you're congested too, aren't you? We're, we're both uh, a little nasally today. A little bit. And I have been for a, a while. I was like messing with my allergies when I was away. Um, there was it's, also like, the, it's also the change of weather. I'm nasally too. Yeah, you were mm-hmm. sick last week too. So we apologize yeah. for our voices. For our little noses. I'm sorry, guys. <laughs> Once I... I <laughs> <laughs> once, once November hits, I'm like sick till March. That's kind of how it I don't even leave home. I don't even know who, how I'm getting sick. <laughs> like I go to the grocery store and <laughs> it just happens. Or Walking I a, outside. A, I'm about to have a baby too. Maybe it's a sign that he's coming yeah. early. You think so? I hope so. I really hope so. Okay, Joe, uh, can we can we guess dates guess? of when the baby's yeah. gonna be due and then um what's our what 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 should we bet if we're whoever's closest? Um <laughs> we can bet dinner and I'm okay. gonna say oh, yeah. I'm gonna say so the baby's due December twenty seventh. Twenty third. Okay. The baby's due December <laughs> The baby's due December twenty third. I believe that he will be coming into the world on December 25th. Joe? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> what? No. He's going to okay. be a Christmas nope. baby. That's what he no. said. That's what he said. December 25th. That's what he said. Oh, Lord, y'all. Okay. Um, nice. I am going to say that the baby is going to be due 23rd, 26th. The 16th is before that. I'm going to say December 15th. Okay. That seems right. That's like a nice to me. round, even number. Okay, I like it. December, December 15th. 15th. Yes. You know what? Oh, anything you can't change it. it. Over. You can't change it. I, I'm not changing it. I'm not changing okay. it. Okay. Change but I think Natasha, I actually, I think Natasha may be right. <laughs> Whoever's I closest. Think so. Let's see. I think so, too. So, technically, my doctor said she would let me be induced at 39 weeks, which is the 16th. So I can totally see me actually going into labor like on the 15th and just bypassing the whole induction. It's just like the movies where my water breaks at the store and it's just like a mess. And then we rush to the hospital. Yeah. I could see it. Yes. I wouldn't yeah. imagine it any other way. Uh-huh. It has to be like a, a, a dramatic entry into oh, the world. Oh, it has to be dramatic. <laughs> it has to be. And, and embarrassing and everything else. Okay, but I'm, I'm going to be the person, my water breaks. I'm going to be like, listen, I've got to wash my hair really quick because I don't want it to be dirty. We can wait a little bit. Is it me or like I love when I see like the mom with their hair up and they look crazy, but the baby's just like all on them. Like, but like right when the baby, you know, when they take the picture right when they put the baby on you for the first time. I love that picture so much. It makes me cry every time. Every time I see it. Oh, like, it, yeah. And the babies still have stuff all over them. That's. Yes. Mm. Yes. Yes. Oh. I don't know why, but I cry when I see that. So I know it is really sweet, though. And I mm-hmm. just, I still want Taylor to either catch the baby or I can pull like him a out. football. Yeah, or like help get him out, or like a Courtney Kardashian where I just pull pull him out. Oof. You're <laughs> gonna you're gonna pull him out yourself? Yeah, Courtney did it. Courtney Kardashian. Oh, really? But also at the same time, I hope my epidural is so strong and the meds are so strong that I am just like, L- let it happen. I didn't know that Courtney pulled her own baby out. I did not know. Yeah, that. it was on the Kardashians. I think it was Mason. Nice. They like let her, he was already like halfway out and she was like. Phew. Oof. That's got to be a good feeling though, you know, after nine months. To pull your own baby out of your vagina. Like a feeling of relief. <laughs> it's like a feeling that's like, you know, popping a pimple. Like, 
eyes, it has to stop. <laughs> the longest <laughs> pimple journey of all time. Yes, having, a like, woman having a baby on your face that's like ready to go for nine months, and then finally. <laughs> <laughs> this is this okay. is gross. Yeah, we're we're getting too far. Okay. 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 Really okay. quick before we talk about it being my last episode and making me cry, we do have some some other stuff going on in Bachelor World. Um, first of all, we want to say congrats to Gabby on her season of Dancing with the Stars. She did not win, but she got second place behind Charlie D'Amelio, and that is just so cool for any yeah. of people to be in on our the show. Eyes. Yeah. Yeah. She's a winner I th- in our eyes. And if Charlie D'Amelio wasn't on this season, like 100%, she would have won, yeah. right? Yeah, oh, for she, sure. Like, she right? was facing um, somebody that was going to be very hard to beat. Right. Um, well, so. great dancers. And also, like, you're, I mean, they're counting votes. And the D'Amelios have a lot, a lot of fans and followers. So that's yeah. Yeah. It's a pretty big deal that Gabby kept up. And yeah. she's a great dancer. Yes. But happy for her. Yes. Happy for Gabby. Okay, now we can talk more about me. <laughs> nice, let's do it. <laughs> um, yeah, so this is my last episode because I'm going to force myself to take maternity leave and just nice. focus on being a mom and a wifey. Not yet wifey, but mm-hmm. fiance, all the things. So like next time you're all grown you up. See me, yeah, I'll be a mom. Just wow. wild. Wow. Look at this. Oh, for your cupcakes? did you did you get these, Natasha? What is what is that? These are for uh, I think these are for like Tia's. Am I the only one got sent this stuff? No, I have it too. But. Oh. <laughs> what? <laughs> did someone say cupcake? Why is one eaten, Joe? Why is one eaten? They got here yesterday. <laughs> oh yeah, I forgot to bring mine up. I got uh, cookies, crumble cookies, and prosecco that I can't drink yet, but. All right, look, where is where is Papa uh, Taylor? What you want him to bring it up here? Are you eating? Him- are you eating a cupcake right now? He has to take. He has to take a oh, shot. Wait, I you mean, really a, have a, one. A yeah, it's also Thanksgiving, so this is kind of like our Thanksgiving episode, Thanksgiving week. Happy Thanksgiving mm-hmm. to everyone listening. Um, mm-hmm. You guys all want to say something that you're thankful for? Um. I feel like mine are kind of obvious. I'm thankful for a healthy baby, beautiful home, supportive fiance, get to live my dream every day, and thankful I get to take time off from work and I I have the privilege of doing that. Um, Yeah, this has been great. Is Taylor there? There he is. Ah, (laughs) All right, Natasha, what are you thankful for? Um, hmm. Hmm. This year, um, sorry guys, I don't normally lick my lips, but I mean lick my fingers, but they're clean. Don't worry. Um, what am I thankful for? This year, looking back, um, I set a goal to travel and say yes to more experiences, um, because you know one day I'm gonna be <laughs> sitting there like Tia. <laughs> so yeah. I decided that I was going to be, um intentional about going places, doing things, um, and having more experiences and, and things like that. And I got to do that. So I'm so grateful for that. So thankful for my friends who love inviting me places that are beautiful and extravagant, extravagant. Um, this past week I was in Necker Island and it was in Mosquito Island. It was next level and beautiful. So traveling Mos- mosquito, mosquito Island. Yes. Mm-hmm. Mm. Yeah, I'll have to tell you guys about that. It was interesting. Um, <laughs> beautiful, but like very interesting creatures on that island. Um, and uh, yes, Richard Branson's island. Mm-hmm. Um, and I'm so thankful for my friends and my family, uh, my community of people um, that also follow me and keep me in check. <laughs> I love them too. And just, you know, you guys and and just good vibes. I think more and more, the older we get, the more the energy around us um, impacts us. And so I am really happy uh, and thankful for all of my peeps around me. Nice. 
Nice. I love that you said you one of your goals was to focus more on like traveling and all of that because nothing makes you realize like, holy crap, everything's about to change when you are pregnant and realize you have another little person that you can't just leave and you have to like strategically schedule and plan things. Mm-hmm. So that's been kind of interesting with me and Taylor is realizing, okay, we're not just going to be able to get up and go. So, but I will now. say, I will say my aunt, who's she's my travel queen. Like she's been everywhere. Her son was born and before her son was seven had already been to like, I don't know, 30 different countries. So I will say, yeah, we do want to get him used to traveling. Yes. So he's yes. more experienced with it. I didn't fly mm-hmm. until I was like 21 years old. Right. And I want this kid to be able to see things and do things that yes. I didn't get to do. And so I'm thankful for that too, that we can provide yeah. that for him. Yes. It's still so possible. And what about you, Joe? What are you thankful for? <clears throat> I'm thankful for, um, uh, what am I think? I'm thankful for my 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 wife, my yeah. wife that I get <laughs> call her my wife, um, my friends, family, health, um, and it's just you know it's been a good year, and, and I'm looking uh, to have an even better one next year, and I'm just happy with the way things are going, so I'm very lucky and uh, and I'm thankful. All right, shall we talk about the paradise finale? Yes, let's do it. Oh, boy. Let's well, get into it. This the- week, there was the final episode, of course, and then the reunion. Yes. Really, the main thing that happened on the final episode was breakups. Okay, do we want to break up or do we want to kind of go from here? So the only two couples that were left were Brandon and Serene and Victoria and Johnny. Correct. Did y'all think that we're, that we're going to... Go, go to fantasy suite. Go to yeah, fantasy exactly. suite. Yes. Because yes. Michael and Danielle and Brittany left and together. Tyler left together. Yeah. Yep. Yes. Did y'all think that Aaron knew that he wanted to break up with Genevieve? Yes. Oh yeah, yeah. That I think I think they both knew. I, I don't I don't think Genevieve because I I think I don't think Genevieve thought they were leaving together either. Right. She just like hearing him say it first. She was like, oh, man. It seemed like she was kind of going to, I don't know, maybe it's just me, but it seemed like she was kind of going to go off of his flow. Yeah, I maybe feel like, you're yeah, right. Because, like, sometimes Aaron in, is super duper sweet, and it's like, listen, we've gotten, I could see that conversation be like, we've gotten through so much, I will always ask you to stay. I will I will never let you leave me. La, 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 la. You know, like, type of yeah. situation. And she would have been like, oh, my God, okay. And the But he went the other way, <laughs> which was like, you always leave. That's very scary. I'm not going to yeah. be there to chase you all the time. You know, so it was kind of like, and she, so I don't know if she knew where which way he was going to go but also that's also like kind of scary in a relationship you don't know which Aaron you're going to get you know for her right yeah so yeah we just uh, regardless if they would have left together they wouldn't have stayed together I don't think no right. but I do like I do like them together I like I will, both of them too but not together yeah. <laughs> separately yeah separate. Um, and then and then the other and then Danielle and Michael left together which the compass the the compass oh. that was sad that was sweet. That was sad. Yeah. Um, I was like, well, that's 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 intense. Um, but happy for them because yeah. they seem they seem really happy. Yeah, um, I know it's been hard too for him to kind of break down his walls in regards to that, and it seems like he's been able to do that with Daniel. Yeah. Um, so that's really I will sweet to see. I will say the patience that the lady has because I mean, it's almost like you're fighting uphill. Like to hear someone say, "I've only told." one person yes. I've ever loved or I, I love them that sometimes like and it's, it's someone that he's lost exactly and it's a, you know it's a, it was your wife it could seem like a uphill battle but the way that she handles it and maybe it's because she also has lost someone and things like that it's it seemed like through their conversation Danielle was like there no way am I trying to replace you know, this person, I think there is a world where you can still love her and love your life with her, but also love me as well. And I right. think watching them and the way that she handled and the way that 
she kind of handles him in that situation, it's very specific and it's very special. It's very specific. Because I don't yeah. know that someone else could handle it that way. She seems right. like a very patient person. She oh, yeah. Is very mm -hmm. sweet, right? kind yeah. person. Because I'm just, let me, can we just, when he said she would love you, meaning, you know, his wife that passed away, I kind of was like, oh. I know that kind of that kind of caught me off guard too. Like how I was like Tia, I was like, how did you how did you feel about that? I was kind of um, like, yeah. At first, it made me think um, sh she would love you, but not if they weren't together. Like not if she was still here. And, yeah. And, and it, I, I don't it was, know. Like it I knew was, what he meant. I knew. What I knew what he meant. meant. Like she would love that he has. Someone, someone that's so like incredible you. in his life. Yes. yes. But yes. like it made me think about them being friends. And I was like, Michael, don't put that in my head because I don't yes. want to think about it that way. Yes, exactly. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So that was a little um, interesting, but she took it well. She took yeah. it very well. She oh, yeah. It. And she even said, too, that her experience with loss was completely different. And she his. didn't have yes. like this incredible story, you know, with. Her fiance that she lost, I think it was due to drug addiction and it had been like a up and down roller coaster. And so her loss is different, but it still is loss and like something yes. that yes. they can really understand with one another. Yeah. And then, thank God we saw them together at the reunion. They're still together. She's moving to where? Is she, where does he live? To Akron, Ohio. Ohio. Uh, Akron, Ohio. But yeah. they're not moving in together. No. Did you guys think that was interesting? I what found that I find that a little interesting, only because it's not like he lives in, um, like a a more populated city, like mm -hmm. whatever Chicago, New York, Nashville, all like. Akron is definitely a smaller, like a smaller community. So, right. If she is moving there, I feel like she, it's solely uh, for him. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Or am I wrong by saying well, that? Is it, you think I mean, it's just because of the of his child? I mean, could be. I, it totally could, could be. be. I yeah. think that I think that if they, maybe he if if it was just like I'm moving with my boyfriend, it's just us yeah. two. It's a little different. Yeah. No. I. Yeah. And I think she's the one who said, "Oh, I'm not ready for that." Like when I think Jesse was like together or something, and she was like, "Oh no!" Like she was like, "I'm moving to Akron, but." I'm going to have my own place. She said, I'm right. not ready for that or something. Because, yeah. How old is his son? I don't know. Seven, nine, seven. Three, I mean, five. obviously old enough to know what's going on. But I I'm think sure it's like a major adjustment I'm not sure. for him, for his dad to have a girlfriend. <laughs> and I'm sure it would be a lot to be living together, too. But yes. Do we know yeah. if Jacob and Jill are still together, by the way? The Jacob and Jill thing, I thought, was watching it was confusing. Watching it back on TV was confusing. They both basically oh, they said, are. Like, They're together. They, but they were both like, we're, I'm open to it. Like, are you open to it? Like, this is the strangest way to start a, uh, a relationship. Are well, you open to being with me? I'm open. Well, he <laughs> said he re the thing that he regretted the most was their connection that they had and that, like, seeing it through anymore i don't know i i'm glad that she didn't say like hey no you chose someone else and like who did he get I with tried. after the split kate 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 kate, 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 kate. yeah okay okay and we yeah. can touch on we can touch on that too real quick kate and logan um kate just wasn't the best look for her this whole thing the Tia, what do you think? Because you weren't there, so <sighs> I need to know what you think. Because I'm like, oh, it's just it, it comes off as mean, like all the things she was saying. And the, well, back to also, Kate turned down Logan's rose at the on the last actual Paradise yeah. episode and was saying, "You said I was critical of you, and I've talked down about you, and I'm like, well, you you did, and you were." And I don't know, I don't really like, I don't remember if it was on the reunion or on a tweet or something, but I don't really like when people say like, oh, there's way more to the story than that. Like she was just straight dogging it. Yeah, she was. She yeah, was. And, it was just and what it, a lot. And it what did you lie. think of his story about him coming to 
LA and uh, I mean, his, him explaining himself made me like kind of a fan for a second. Yeah. <laughs> well, I mean, listen, at the end of the day, I don't know, maybe sympathize. I feel yes, like every, yes, everyone's, yes. everyone's got a story and, and Logan's a guy who, you know, probably didn't grow up with a lot of money and he had to work and it wasn't easy, right. but he's proud of himself and where he's at and as yes, he should be. Um, yeah, and Kate, I agree. Like, yeah, I just, I just think Kate, uh, I don't know if she didn't think what she was saying was going to get shown. Um, and it was, it was said multiple times. Multiple yeah. Times. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And, it's and not just going... like a one-off, like, okay, I want a partner who can earn as much as me and we're a team. It was not said in that way. And, right? and here's the thing. It they're also, nice. st- they're still going back and forth on social media. Uh-huh. Like, so at, at the end of the day, I just think Kate really was like, I'm on a reality show. I'm making TV and I don't right. really give a fuck. That's, also, yeah, that's how it comes I just, across to me. I just got a Costco membership and I feel rich just because I have a Costco <laughs> membership. <laughs> so I feel well, you, Logan. I feel well, you, man. I will say on both sides, it's like, yeah, you can't, you know, you have to be proud of where you come from no matter where and what that is. Because, yeah. you know, we are put in that circumstance um, for a reason. But also, I think... And I think I said this before, you can have high standards or have standards that are parallel and want a partner mm-hmm. or whatever as a woman who works hard. And we know how hard it is for women to make strides in business and all these different um, avenues. But if you find someone who's not matching your energy or matching where you are, don't dog them. Leave. Find someone yeah. else. Yeah. And right. I think we, a lot of people would have just had more respect if she was like, listen, I get it. You're great. Let's go to the boom boom room. Let's hook up, and oh. that's all it's gonna be. <laughs> Speaking of boom boom room, nobody went to the nobody boom boom went. room this season. Nobody yeah. went. Nobody. I, like this. I have one more question. Do you think if they asked Kate beforehand and she or they called Logan, asked Kate to come down and she rejected the rose? Do you think someone who was dating the twins would have rejected that? Like like started that? Oh. she started the trend. I thought about that too. Mm-hmm. Um, I was like, damn, thought why about that Logan earlier? was just standing there and Mara had just left. Right. To, I don't know. Um, yeah, I don't know. I feel like Shanae and Flo both accepted roses from the twins because they were like, oh, this is who, you know, we're with. Yeah. Right now. Do you guys I, s- secretly think Shanae and Logan really should have been together? Because that's kind of how I feel. <laughs> no, I don't. I don't. I, I honestly, I, I think Logan should have been with the girl Lindsay who came down. Because oh, you know he was kicking himself. Yeah, so I, hard when he got that, shut down at the rose ceremony. Above. That was that was such a mistake. Um, okay, and then we <sighs> yeah, have real lot. real it's quick. Aaron Genevieve. I think they ended at the reunion. I think they both looked really good. I think they ended it on good terms. They seemed to be like cool with each other. And, I was kind of rooting for some drama, yeah. but they were very amicable. <laughs> Yeah, which they were great. Which, they were great. I, honestly, I I thought they did like it was like a plus. Good job. Yes. Um, Friends after Ty, Tyler. Before oh, now, we're gonna oh. we have Johnny coming on in a few minutes, so we'll talk about Johnny, Victoria, Greg. Um, but we do have Tyler and Brittany. Now they left together. They seem they to said be. They I re- love you. Really happy. Um, and then like there's this like I Brittany went on vacation, and then. Called him from Italy and said, this ain't working. Which, I mean, that is like, well, if communication was bad from the jump, like, whatever. Like, you're not going to fly to New Jersey to break up with him (laughs) if you guys aren't. Like, if you guys, like, that's the thing. Like, it's not. uh, Yeah. Like, you live in different states. But it's he said that she came to Jersey. He went to Chicago. Yeah. Then what? What happened? Then what happened after that? There's. I think there's a lot of missing parts we don't know about. There. Yeah. Yeah. But there had to be. There had to be. There clearly was a communication issue because you heard him say like, "I called, I text," or she said like, "You call, you text it," and I, I felt like. um, It was too much. Too much. Yeah. So, I don't know. But at that point, that's when you know you've like checked out. And you're thinking that something is too much and it's coming on too strong. Like, I yeah. feel like she was already checked out at that point. It was not about to give him any grace. I, right? I think it's I think it's pretty simple. I think it was really just 
like she wasn't that into him. Yeah. Like I think I think they got back and she realized I'm just not as into you as I as I was on Paradise. Um, they were I very kind of feel together, like that though. might be the same case with Victoria and Johnny. I don't know for sure. Um, mm -hmm. But I, I, I get a little bit of, of that vibe, too, which makes sense because when you're in paradise, it's expedited. You're constantly talking about your feelings. But um, for them to get engaged. Well, yeah, that's I don't know. Yeah. It's something had to have just gone wrong. In my I mean, I don't know. But and and I will say this, like me and Victoria were on the same season of we were on Peter's season. We were really, really close. After this season, like, she really isolated herself. I didn't talk to her much. The other girls from our season that she's really close with didn't talk to her much. And so I truly, like, I don't want people to think that I'm lying when I say this. Like, oh, no, you guys are besties. I really don't know anything about her relationship with Johnny because she didn't share it with me. And I didn't, of course, want to pry. Like, I'm not, you know, just going to do that either. Um the show takes a lot out of you. I knew something was off, though, because I'm like, didn't you just get engaged? Aren't you happy? Right. Aren't we celebrating? Oh, no, we're not. Great. So, yeah. Um, yeah. So and I, I, and I saw and we were with them at Nick's house and everybody saw the TikTok. Um, mm -hmm. And I'm friends with Victoria and Greg. Um, mm -hmm. But like, I don't know. Like, I, I didn't ask because I don't want right. to know. Um, right. And, and if she was if she talked about it, that's yeah. be a different thing. But like. You kind of, you know, people in their relationships, who knows, right? Yeah. And, like, we're not, like, I'm friends with both of them, but not f f friends like that where we're going to open up about each other's relationships. So, right. yeah, like, I don't, I really don't know what went down. Um, mm -hmm. But I'm excited to talk to Johnny and he's here. So instead of us going back and forth about it, why don't we just bring him in and, and find out uh, his side of the story. Everyone, please welcome Johnny to Clickbait. Johnny, Joseph, what's up? What the what's fuck going? did you hit? <laughs> What'd you say? Did you hit something? Yeah, yeah, I hit my my <laughs> radiator. Uh, Johnny, Chicago, what's up? Welcome. Chicago. I'm good. What's going on? Nothing. Same. Thank you. Same thank you stuff. for ha thank you for having me. No, we're uh, we're happy to. Um, we watched you on the two part finale, so you are. Perfect. <laughs> the guest that everybody wants, in my opinion. Um, we're going to get into all that, but let's get For into sure. a little bit. We're just going to touch a little bit on, like, the background of, like, yeah. you on Gabby's season. You know, the big thing for you was you weren't ready to get engaged, um, yeah. which understandable. Yeah. How did your mind change? Did your mind change going into paradise? Um, I, You know, I don't think, like, I... Like I told Jesse too in, in the beginning of Paradise, I, I don't think my mind really changed. Um, I think I was going down there with the same mindset of like, I, you know, I don't I don't know if I am ready, but if I find someone, I'm down to leave with them and start a relationship. And then um, as time went on and the more I thought about it, the more, you know, I thought I found my person. And, and I think it changed gradually through Paradise. <clears throat> but um, I think the mindset going into Paradise is very much like, I'm probably going to leave here either by myself or with someone, you know, who yeah. I want to be with. But, you know, engagement wasn't really on my radar. Yeah. And I think I think that's normal. I mean, at least yeah. for me, um, I never went into I was on Paradise twice and never went in there thinking I was going to get engaged. Yeah. Um, you know, you don't end. really you don't want to. I like I kind of I'm, I'm like a sucker for the whole love story and stuff. And I feel like when it's when you're not looking for it is when it happens. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So I was kind of trying to go in there like. I'm not going to find it. And then if I get hit with it, it's just going to feel that much better. Yeah. yeah. Okay. So then, um, let's, uh, so Alex comes down during split week. We see like yeah. Victoria is a little torn during that. Yeah. She ends yeah. up choosing you. Um, how does your relationship progress from, you know, after she chooses you over Alex? Um, like, where is it? I think it, it progressed by, you know, a thousand. I think yeah. um, just I, I had a talk with Rodney, too, about this after I, I had been chosen by Victoria um, to not my game. And it was to not press her and let her make her own decision, because at the end of the day, you don't want to be someone's second option. And when she finally, you know, sat me down and, and told me that it was me, 
um, it just felt that much better. And those feelings got 10 times stronger and it just kind of solidified where we stand and where we're going to go. Okay. And now that you guys are at this time, you're, you're moving faster and, and, and yeah. you know, it seems to be working and your feelings are growing stronger. Have you had the conversation about the real world? And I know like she does, she yeah. had a checklist and all that. Did you guys talk about that? Um, when did you guys talk about that? Yeah. Uh, the whole checklist thing kind of came up right after split week. Um, I think that was the first time I really heard about, well, yeah, I guess that was kind of like the first time I heard that she was like, I have this checklist and, and you, you know, like these are the things that I think I need for an engagement. And, and I think that's why it kind of threw me off. And I was, you know, super upset that she saw someone else. But um, I think that was really the first time we talked about life after, in a way. Okay. And, when you and, yeah. and her expectation for an engagement also happened at that time, or was yeah. that before? Uh, kind of at that time is when it really hit me, I think. I think prior we had, you know, just some talks where she was like, the age difference kind of bothers me, but necessarily it wasn't anything too deep she was 28 at the time and i was 25 yeah i'm 26 years yeah i mean it's yeah yeah Yeah. i'm four years older (laughs) (laughs) Uh, i think we are we're we're at two different places in life though i I think it does have a a fair play in in the whole engagement and things like that but at that time in paradise you don't really see a lot of that shit you know right right it's not so you, the real world. Yeah. Mm-hmm. So you guys make, basically, you make it to the end. Mm-hmm. You, you guys go to Fantasy Suites where you, it's the first time you get yeah. demiked. Yeah. Uh, and you could you could actually talk, t- you know, to your partner. Yeah. And you could say anything. <laughs> Is there anything you want to disclose? What goes down in that room? Any conversations about what you're going to do in the real world um, happen during that time? Yeah, of course. I mean, we talked about everything. I think the, yeah. the first thing we said was, as soon as that door shut, we just looked at each other and we're like, this is fucking crazy. <laughs> like, we're doing this. And we're like, yeah. But um, yeah, it was pretty much just a lot of conversations about where we are and where we're going to go after this and, and what we want to do and and um, just making that commitment, you know? What was I- the plan, if you don't mind me asking? Yeah. Um, there was really no set plan. I know she just she really wanted to get married and have kids like as soon as possible. Um, but as far as a plan, it was, you know, just let's see where this goes. There was no rush. It was pretty much let's, let's, let's get engaged and let's, let's see where this, this, this can go. And, and maybe in a year or so, um, you know, we can talk about getting married and things like that. But, um, so you knew at that point in fantasy suites that you were going to propose. I think we had a very good idea of what was going to happen right after Fantasy Suites, yeah. I mean, I was very, I was down after Fantasy Suites. After yeah. Fantasy, okay, though, so that's what I wanted to and, know. And I'm not, and I'm not sure, I, like, it doesn't really look like that in the episode, I guess, but. Right. That's, but like, we were, after Fantasy Suites, it was just, I was head over heels. Right. <clears throat> yeah. And before, because, be, be, so before Fantasy Suites, you were, mm-hmm. of course, like, we're together, mm-hmm. we would leave here together. But yeah. fantasy suites is what solidified. I want to marry this person. I want to be engaged with this person. I'm going to propose. So that solidified it. Yes. Um, there's this one time though that we we kind of talked about it, and we were like, when did we know that we wanted to to when did we know we wanted to get engaged? And for for us, it's different. I guess hers was when we had a talk about having kids, and I said some like joke about it, and she just was like, I'm going to marry this guy. And then mine was uh, right after our one-on-one, Jesse had asked us if we were in love and we were like, we're going to keep that private. But she, she put her hand right on my leg and I was like, I, I'm going to put a ring on this girl. Like I know I am. I just knew then. But that after was, the you know. After the yeah. one-on-one. Yeah. Okay. After the yeah. one-on-one, it was pretty, it was like, I had at least a good, you know, idea of what I wanted to do. Mm-hmm. <clears throat> okay. Oh. Okay, so you guys, so she basically says, like, let's see where this goes. Or you guys both agree, let's see where this goes. Mm-hmm. Um, hopefully we get married in a year, have kids. Yeah. Living together, did you talk yeah. about, like, how are, are 
you live in Florida. She lives in yeah. Nashville. What was yeah. that conversation had? Yeah, yeah. Um, we talked about it here and there. Um, we didn't want to do anything right away. Um, and then I had talked about, I'm trying to relocate to Miami right now. And, um, you know, we had talked about living in Miami part-time and then Nashville part-time. Um, and that was pretty much that. We didn't want to rush into living together right away. Why didn't, was that, was that both of you agreed on that? Or was that one person was, that was more? A, that was like a, that was like a, both of us kind of thing, you know? Mutual? Yeah, for the okay. most part. Okay, so then let's, I guess, let's get into, um, I guess, let's Af talk about after the show, right? right sure. Happy couples. Yeah. Okay, yeah. so um, for our listeners, if yeah. you get engaged on this show, the show sets up because technically you're not supposed to be with each other right after because you don't want to get spotted. Yeah. So the show set, sets up happy couple weekends. They usually happen anywhere from three to four weeks when you get home and you have a few of them anywhere from like two to four. Um, yeah. So do you guys take your first happy couple weekend? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. And uh, how and, was that? Yeah. Uh, that was good. That was really good. Um, and how was communication? How, I guess, how was communication before that? Like um, right after the show? Yeah. It was super rocky right after. And I think it had a, a, a my, my show, my bachelorette, Erin, had a huge part in it. Um, I think it was just really tough for her to be engaged and to watch me on TV with someone else. And it was tough for me, you know, because I have friends, I have friends getting engaged right now and they are so public and happy and I had to promote me and Gabby and I and forgot that that it was overlapped. just like, yeah, it was, she would like three days out of paradise. You know, she called me crying and I was just like, I, ah, this is heartbreaking to me. It's like, she wants to be happy. And she's like, I, I don't feel happy. Right. And it was just, it was awful. So I think that started, you know, a lot of rocky conversations before our first happy couple. Mm -hmm. okay. And when, uh, when you, had, when you went to paradise though you were fully do you think you were fully over gabby and were you fully yeah, healed from yeah. that experience because you left for sure yeah i left and and i had you know I, I knew that she was eric and i was happy for her and um okay yeah i was good did you guys have the conversation on the beach that you did go far on gabby's season um, yeah. and when you got home that was gonna be um, yeah. shown and are you comfortable with it yeah, we had that conversation. Um, and obviously, you know, you can have as many talks as you want, but I don't think it prepares you for the real thing, you know? When yeah, you, right. Because in the beginning, when we did talk about it, those emotions and feelings weren't necessarily there. So now coming out of paradise, it's all there. And those emotions are real and those feelings are real. And now she's watching me on TV with someone else. And it was just, it was hard to watch. Okay. Did you guys oh. ever watch the show together? Like, was it airing no. while you guys were in Happy Couples at all or anything? Yeah, one of the times, and um, yeah, I was like, I'm not watching. I don't like. You're gonna be upset, and I don't want to do that. You know, let's watch Harry mm -hmm. Potter or something. Nice, <laughs> nice. <laughs> let's, let's watch Harry, Harry Potter. Potter. <laughs> so, yeah. um, okay, so let's talk about that first happy couple weekend. For sure. How's how's how does that go? That was good. You know, the happy couple we were at. Um, we actually, we got to one place, and they were like in the middle of construction. So we had to move to another uh, house, but it was beautiful. It was beautiful. It was on the side of a mountain. Um, yeah, just happy couple stuff. You kind of just chill. We had dinner a lot, um, ordered sushi, we had an awesome pool. Yeah, but like, how does your relate? Like, is, do you feel like your relationship? <laughs> He's like, the house was sick. <laughs> the house was, <laughs> the house was sick. Yeah, sushi, Harry Potter. No, um, no the house like, was dope. The movie. What's were the state? Good. I guess, <laughs> I guess. <laughs> I guess the, what's what's the state of your relationship? Our relationship, our relationship was um, it was good for the most part. I think our first happy couple was good, and then I think kind of after our first happy couple, it started to kind of down, down, downward why? spiral in a way. Yes. Why? why? What was the thing? If you're <clears> looking back. Yeah. No. There's a lot of things. Um, like I said, I think my season had a huge part of it, and then I think there was insecurities that came out of, within me that you know you don't see in paradise paradise is a whole different world you're you're secluded 
and coming out, you know, Victoria is very established. And, and that's part of the reason why I didn't want to get engaged on the first shows. You know, I was still in paramedic school and I was still doing all these things. And, and there's things that Victoria wanted, but I couldn't get her. And I was just like, I don't feel like I can take care of you. And I know that's what you want. So I know that like kind of, you know, it didn't sit right with her. Um, well, it didn't sit right with her on the beach or it didn't sit right with her? No, after, after Paradise. After it didn't sit, but was she okay with it when you brought it up in Paradise? Yeah, for sure. That's what I was, and, and I feel like I was kind of, you know, as honest as I could be with her in Paradise. I feel like I told her everything there. Okay. That, I th- and I think that's also a broad thing. What do you mean by take care of? Like you said, she's established. She takes care of herself as, as far as like financially. Yeah, I know. Um, I just don't know i just didn't feel like i can take care of in the way that she wanted me to you know okay yeah and you I feel like express- that's the thing too i mean just in my experience that's the thing too with being a younger guy in a relationship my fiance's yeah. had those issues too because he knows i'm independent and knows i'm gonna talk yeah. about it and he's had those insecurities too because it's, it's just, just like the like norm like a, for the man like, to take care of the It's a it's woman. a norm thing, and it's something that like I wanted to. I want to be able to take care of my fiance, and if we have kids, I want to support the whole family. Right. That's what I want to do as a man. Not not saying where that's you can do whatever you want, but the girls can do whatever. But um, it's just you know it just didn't really sit right with me either. So I felt like I projected a lot of those insecurities onto her. Mm. Okay. Okay. So I guess okay. So things are rocky. After yeah. the first happy couple, yeah. when you say Rocky, are you guys still like talking? Are you guys, what's the communication like? Are you talking every day? No, we're still talking. Yeah, we're still talking. We were talking okay. every day up until the end of August, beginning of September. Okay. And are you, okay. you are, are you, you're both like still happy to be engaged? Yeah. That's are you still thing. engaged? Yeah. For the most part, we were the, the whole, the whole, concept of like our relationship like after paradise and after our first few fights it was like we need to figure out if we're going to walk on that stage engaged or not and i think that's what it was up until all the shit broke out okay so that's if that makes sense felt. to you yeah. yeah 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 that's how you felt you yeah. were like we're working well, that's on how so- she felt too that's how she felt too because that's why we went to therapy and that's why we did those things that's what at least she told me was we need to figure out if we're going to walk on that stage together engaged or not Okay, okay, so therapy. Yeah. I'm glad you brought that up. When did you guys decide that you needed to go to to couples therapy, and whose idea was that? Um, we went to couples therapy in October, sometime beginning of October. Mm-hmm. And who yeah. who said I think if we're gonna really work this out, we need to try well, I mean, therapy. I, obviously, the show offers it, and then she uh, I was on uh, the West Coast working. We just had a hurricane, and she called me, and she's like, "I think we should try to go to therapy and, and see like what it does." You know, have a third party talk to us, and, and you know, clearly we're not good right now. So and you were down. Like, yeah, why not? I, I I want it. Like I really want to make it work. You know and. I get it. Relationships are not perfect. And I was just like, well, if we can get past this and we can do anything about it. Do you think she wanted to make it work? No. No. Not Why after, do you say that? Not after the whole instant, like the whole Greg thing. I would just, I personally knew that she was not interested anymore. But I kind of had like this sense of hope that like maybe we can work things out. But that was, but the whole Greg thing happened after the therapy. Like, it, I mean, if she... No, I feel it, like, well, it, they saw each other at that party in LA, and that's when she stopped kind of talking to me completely. Okay. I mean, do you think they just saw each other and when was that party? Like, what do you do? You think and like it, something went it, down between them, or it was I just I, like I, I, it's, it's not necessarily my place to say. I wasn't there. I, I wasn't yeah. there, and in in some weird, crazy way, you know, like as much as I want to be like, no, she did this and this. Like, I asked her to marry me, and I still feel like I have this, you know. It's my duty to kind of not trash it. I don't want to do that. I don't want to throw in. No one wants to do that. Yeah. No, we're not here. Like, I I mean, we said before, like we we're friends with Victoria. We're friends with Greg. We like you. Like we're not trying to ruin anybody here. It's a a weird thing to like even talk about. So I'm like trying to put it into words, but I don't want to. But like you knew that they knew each other beforehand. She, yeah, she talked to Greg. She talked about Greg a lot. She talked about Greg a lot. She brought Greg up in paradise that they had, we're talking previously and something went down. Greg had a girlfriend or something and she told him, 
like I'm going to paradise. And that was that. And then did she, you think they okay. were done at that point? I did. I really did. Cause I didn't know who Victoria was. And, and yeah, I was like, this is my fiance. I'm going to trust her. And then, um, she had reached out to Greg like, a couple weeks after paradise to call him. She called him and, um, that didn't sit right with me, but I didn't want to be that jealous person. And I thought like she had to close the door with someone cause she left and in 30 days got engaged. And, this was something she had to do, you know. You leave. Did she tell? She to. told you about it. I'm assuming. Yeah, yeah. I had asked her if she had talked to Greg because she had made it a point that she was like, "I, I need to talk to Greg and, and tell him what happened in Paradise." <clears throat> okay. Yeah. Interesting. So okay. that was that was a couple weeks after, and um, we were still very much together. And then, um, you know, like a month went by, and then she saw him at that party. And that's when we kind of stopped talking. Hmm. Yeah. Okay. So you guys stop. So she sees Greg at a party. Yeah. You guys then oh. like, is, do you guys have a conversation that like, we don't, we're not engaged anymore and we're cutting off communication? Um, the whole engagement talk was kind of ongoing throughout the whole relationship. Up until that party, we were very much still, I had bought a ticket to see her in Nashville. Um, she was supposed to come to my house for my birthday. Like we, you know, I was, she called me that, she called me that Friday night, Saturday was the party. She called me Friday night because I was in Arizona visiting my brother. Um, so we were very much still, you know, together, at least working on it. And when you saw the picture, because there was pictures all over the internet, when you saw yeah. the pictures that she was there, he was there, yeah. what was that conversation like? Um, I, like, again, I didn't want to think too much about it. So I kind of just was like, hey, I like. You didn't really answer me at all. This is the first time you've gone out and not said a word to me until the next day. And I was like, I see a bunch of videos and pictures. You by Greg, like, did anything happen? And, you know, it was like, no, you don't, don't look too deep into it. And I was like, all right, you know, I'll, I'll take your word for it. I want to. So, but then kind of after that day, like communication was just done. Like, I love you was not there anymore. Good morning. Good night. I had to like pry text from her and I didn't want to do that. Mm. <clears throat> was there like a big were, were there texts where like the time frame were the responses like hours after or was yeah it was like it was like yeah like it went from like we were facetiming every day and talking up until that party literally friday night okay and, and then after that it's just the gut you just know these things you know yeah and i didn't i didn't want to do that i didn't want to be that person and accuse and, and i and when i did i felt bad so maybe i am being insecure i don't want to be that person like i'm trying to work on these things and um yeah then it was like hours and then it moved to like days and then i was just like all right i i feel annoying at this point i feel like me even saying hi to her is just not what she wants i get that <clears throat> yeah. do you do you think if it wasn't if there wasn't something with her and greg mm -hmm. Do you think you guys would have made it work? Or do you that's think a, maybe because she had potentially had feelings for somebody yeah, else? That's a good question. I mean, who am I to say? I just I just know I thought up until the reunion we were gonna work on things. And I don't know. Like I don't know. Things yeah. were rocky. Things were rocky and and maybe I would have taken myself out of it because maybe I did not feel like I can I can be there for her at the moment. So mm -hmm. who knows? That's why it kind of eats at me because it's like, well, if that never happened, if there's no one else, would we still be trying to work things out? And, and you know, everything happens. But, this, you know? but I will say that you, you said that the, the communication ended when the party happened or whatever. Yeah. But yeah. prior to, from what you know, her seeing yeah. Greg or anything like that, yeah. You guys were still having to work on things, right? Yeah. For yeah. The most part, yeah. So that's work where it's like, things. that's where it's like, you know, watching the reunion back. Um, yeah. Did you feel like watching it back? Did you feel one validated in how you tried to portray your feelings, but also, or did you see kind of where she was coming from when she said, blaming this situation still doesn't um you know it, it doesn't cancel out our problems that we had together yeah of course i saw both sides no doubt i saw yeah, both sides of it yeah it was like and, and like i like i don't think anyone wins at the end of it i think it's a sad situation like i right 
hated being up there doing that. I hated that she wasn't sitting next to me as my fiance. And I'm sure she didn't want to get engaged multiple times. And, and like, it just sucks, you know? It's not fun for anyone. So I'm someone who's not going to sit here and blame, blame, blame. I will understand where you're coming from too. Like, that's who I am. So I, of mm -hmm. course, I saw her side as well. Going into, um, at the reunion, did yeah. you, did you have any feelings left for her? Or were you like, that's um, it, like, this is over? Yeah, that's, I mean, again, I, I didn't expect to be engaged. So, yeah. Yes, I care deeply for this person, you know, like, I will always hold a soft spot for Victoria in my heart. Um, but after the whole Italy thing came out, I was pretty much just like, I'm not communicating with this person anymore. And, and that's not how I feel about you. It's just like for my own peace of mind. Yeah. You know, like I will well, be if there you, for if you. If you want to move on, you kind yeah. of like, that's yeah. how I move on too. Like yeah. you kind of have just, to just cut it off. Out of sight, out of mind. That's how I kind yeah. of had to look at it. But you know, if anything terribly were to happen, I will be there for you. But I was just after that whole Italy thing, it kind of like confirmed all my gut feelings. And I was just like, I. I can't listen to you anymore because you're not being honest with me and now I'm kind of going crazy so I need to cut myself off. Mm. Makes sense. Did, yeah. did you guys um, and feel free if you don't, you don't have to answer this or not. Did you guys have a conversation uh, after the reunion? Because we know everybody was at the after party. Yeah. I mean it's, it's out there. There's, there's videos of us kind of like walking away and talking. So yeah we kind of we talked a little bit. Um, I wasn't trying to. I know she, she just, she was essentially really torn up after the whole thing, and I was too. I, after that reunion, I think everyone went out. I just went home. I called my mom. I was crying. I was just like, I can't believe we just did what we did. Like this is sad. All right. So I mean, I think it's just pretty clear. You know, Victoria is with Greg now. Um, yeah. What's dating life like for you? Are you ready to date? Um, you know, just. <laughs> What's your mindset what now? Am I ready to date? I don't know. I'm not going to let this ruin anything for me. Um, You're ready to date. Be ready to date. Yeah. Yeah. Am I ready to date? I think you are. Yes. Do you have any, you have any candidates? Send them my way. I'm I single. think you're going to do sure just you're gonna fine. I'm sure you're going to have plenty. I think you're going to do <laughs> yeah. just fine. Especially, mister, I'm uh, moving to Miami. Okay. Uh, I'm moving to Miami. Um, are you moving to Miami? Yeah, I'm trying to move to Miami in January. Nice. Joe, Joe yeah. are you, why are you steadily more in the dark? <laughs> Because it's getting dark out. You look like it's, an episode of Ghost Hunters. It's literally so moody and weird. It like you're hunting, the, darker, you're hunting the darker this story gets. <laughs> uh, so uh, in Miami. Um, yeah, I know. I'm sorry. It's just what it is. We yeah. started later today. Uh, um, I it's giving Godfather. It's giving dark. Um, okay, so, yeah, I mean... I hope, I mean, I hope you're ready to date and I think you should yeah. at least go out with your friends and, and, oh, of course. and have fun. And, I, and I'm trying to, I'm trying to look at this as, as, a, as a lesson, you know, I think you learn from these things and listen, I now have a platform. Like I was engaged. I went through shit with someone. Like if anyone needs to talk to me, they can, like, I'm happy to lend a hand. I want to be there for people. That's what I like to do. Um, of course I'm ready to date. I'm not going to let this ruin anything for me. The whole experience was beautiful. So good. I, I hope this doesn't like taint your idea of being engaged and married no, and like ever all. doing that again. Because I know no. that's special and that's like a big thing to propose to someone. For sure. It's definitely a high. And like even even when I think about it now, I can get emotional. It's just it was such a, an amazing moment that I never thought I would honestly do at least this early. So I kind of in a way I'm chasing that high, you know, and yeah, and I do want that. I do want that eventually. And I mean, it made me you realize that. that, you know, you were unsure about engagement. Um, I think I said, and now you're like, hey, that was, that was pretty cool. I told her, you know, you, you show me what it's like to really fall in love with someone. I think that is just, that hits home with me. Like she really did. All right. So, well, would you, um, would you ever go back on paradise? I go back to paradise. Um, I mean, you're going to probably get asked. Never say no. never. Never say never. <laughs> Never say never. Um, fuck it. Why not? I, was good. I would do it again. <laughs> nice. I love that. I mean, I mean, Jack, Joe's second time <laughs> yeah. around was 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 a home run. Joe yeah. went back oh, and got Joe. engaged. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yep. Yep. What yep. about uh? Is everything clo done between you and Gabby? She's single now. Uh yeah. I mean, yeah. <laughs> we haven't talked, so I think we're okay. really pretty much done. Yeah. But she's an awesome person. Gabby is. You know, I would love to be great friends with her. She's cool. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Would you say that your closest 
friend on the beach was Tyler or who? Probably Tyler and, and I mean Logan, just because they're from my season. But mm-hmm. truthfully, like I text everyone all the time. Like we all mm-hmm. got so close, and that's what you know is that was mm-hmm. such an experience. Did yeah. you find that after this happened, did you find that certain people yeah, like chose sure. sides? Um, not necessarily sides because it was pretty split because everyone going into this was friends with both of us. And and that's like something right. you don't, you don't want people to choose sides. Like I felt, I didn't want to sit there and be like, take my side. She's wrong. Or, you know, after reunion, I texted the, we have a whole group chat paradise. Hi. And I was just like, guys, I want you to know like I feel awful about what just happened. And like, I love you all. So just, you know, it's all good over here. So yeah. So the group no, chat I think for still the most has part, you in it and Victoria. Oh, for sure. And Victoria. Yeah. Okay, I see good. her text all the time. She com- it comes through. Okay, good. <laughs> yeah. good well, know. I think um, I think you, you know, I know this was tough for you. Um, yeah. It would be tough for anybody. No. Um, but I think you have the right mindset and I would just stick to that and keep going. And I, like I said, I think you're just going to be, you're going to be quite all right. Um, if I'm in Miami, I'll definitely hit you up or dude, please do in South Florida. If you're ever down, let me know. Yeah. Um, all right, right, Johnny. Well, we, we really appreciate you coming on. Um, I know, I know it wasn't easy, but thank you very much. (laughs) And, uh, I'm sure we'll have you back next year. Um, okay. That was, uh, that's, that's, that was a rough situation, but honestly, like I, if Victoria and Greg are happy, I'm happy for them. And it seems like they are. And I think Johnny is handling it the best way he could. And that's way he could. Yeah, yeah, he really is. He's got a great, great mindset in my opinion. Yeah. I you can see that the, you can see the respect that he still holds for the relationship or yeah. whatever time they had in paradise. And I think that that is very apparent um, listening, you know, he definitely didn't, you know, he, he definitely of course saw, like he said, both sides. And I think that that's really humbling um, to, to say, right. Cause watching it, I did, I, yeah. I saw both sides. I saw his side, but I also saw her side. I saw, right. I saw both of it. So both things. Um, so for him to see both and, and uh, you know, maybe we'll have Victoria on one day and she can say her piece as well. But um, it was it, he's gonna be fine, and and yeah. also Greg and Victoria, they look happy, and hopefully it's a better fit for her. You know. Yeah, I'm hopeful for all of them. Yeah, uh, there is a lot of love in the air this year, uh, and you know I am thankful for that too. This is our thank- Thanksgiving episode. So, uh, Joe, do you have some champagne? Can we cheers to love yeah. and, and not heartache and not heartbreak? No more take match. a take a chug for me. Yeah, Love, cheer, cheers. Not to, heartbreak and and good luck to Tia and because, babies and babies. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers, guys. Oh my gosh. Mm. Um, thank you so much to our listeners for going on this paradise journey with us, and thank you so much to Johnny for being here today. And also, since it's my last episode, it's never goodbye. It's always see you later. I just want to say a huge thanks to the Bachelor franchise um, that I've been a part of for the last five years, all the producers, all the cast, um, you two, just thank you for this whole experience and especially the last year being on this podcast. It's been amazing and I'm just so grateful for all of you. We love you, Tia. We love you, and we're we're happy for you. We love you so much. We can't wait to see the baby pics. Okay, yes. And as always, make sure to subscribe and submit all your burning questions. We want to know what clickbait you're getting into. Make sure to follow us on social. You can find us at clickbaitbn on Instagram. All the links to all our social media accounts are right there. Also, they are casting for men to date our next bachelorette. If you are single or know someone who is single, go to our website to nominate or apply at Bachelor Nation. Dot com slash apply and share your stories with us we want to know what clickbait you're looking at this week and prime members make sure to listen to clickbait ad free on amazon music download the amazon music app today or you can listen ad free with wondering plus and apple Podcasts. but before you go tell us about yourself by completing a short survey at wondery.com slash survey and i hope everybody has a great holiday tia I can't say this enough. We're going to miss you. It's not goodbye. It is see you later. I'm so happy yes. for you and Taylor. Um, 
and yeah, we can't wait to see what uh, your baby looks like. Me too. <laughs> I wait to see your baby. <laughs> Also, uh, um, yeah. Bye, everyone. 15. See Happy you next week. Happy Thanksgiving. Bye-bye. Happy Thanksgiving. December 15th, the baby drops. <laughs> <laughs>